Most of the time, the food and drink we buy is perfectly safe to consume and looks exactly as we expect it to. However, in rare instances, an unwelcome surprise may accompany the products we know and love. With these unwanted bonuses ranging from reptiles to real human teeth, after seeing this video, you'll never want to consume some of these products again. Cucumber Crisis in 2014, Jenny Wilkinson of the Isle of Wight got more than she bargained for when she picked up a cucumber from her local grocery store. It looked pretty ordinary at first glance until she noticed this. Squashed inside the supermarket packaging was a small squished gecko. Jenny bought the cucumber for her one-year-old grandson, but luckily she spotted the unwelcome guest before he tucked into it. It seemed the reptile had been minding his own business on the cucumber when it was harvested and rapidly sealed in the plastic wrap. He probably didn't even get time for a nibble. Understandably, Jenny complained to Aldi, the supermarket responsible, and received a 20-pound voucher for her troubles. While everyone likes their cucumber to be a little crispy, maybe Aldi took that a little too literally on this occasion. Weevil Fried Rice From a distance, this may seem like some tasty seasoned rice, but a closer look shows something much less appealing. Those small black dots are actually weevils, a tiny three millimeter long beetle occasionally found in packaged rice. Rice weevils are known to infest rice fields and in some cases, make their way through quality control and into supermarkets. But the reason they're able to slip through undetected is truly skin crawling. A female rice weevil will typically chew a hole into the rice and deposit an egg inside. It'll then seal up the opening, leaving the egg behind. Once it's ready, the fully formed weevil eats its way out of the grain. In an infested batch, thousands of these little critters can emerge seemingly at once. Talk about nightmare fuel. So if you see lots of tiny holes in your rice, it might be best not to eat it. Of course, before you throw your rice reserves out, make sure you're not confusing mixed white and black rice for an infested batch. But if the black bits start moving, feel free to kill them with fire. Mother Vinegar. Imagine you're pouring out some vinegar when you spot this floating in the bottle. Pretty gross, right? Well, surprisingly, it might not be as bad as it looks. This floating anomaly is known as a vinegar mother and can take many forms from a thin membrane to a large stringy mass. But don't be alarmed, the mother isn't an alien life form. It's actually a colony of bacteria that feeds on alcoholic liquids that haven't been completely fermented in the vinegar making process. The more unprocessed alcohol in the vinegar, the larger the mother can get. While it's not usually supposed to form in supermarket vinegar bottles, the mother is crucial in the production process. It's responsible for turning alcohol into acetic acid, which gives vinegar its sharp flavor. Interestingly, if you could put its gross appearance aside, you could actually remove a mother like this one and put it in some wine to create your own vinegar. All in all, this mother membrane will do you no harm, although I wouldn't advise looking at one for too long. Still, better than finding your actual mother preserved in a bottle of vinegar, I guess. Bean Truder as a child, you might have thought green beans look a little bit like tiny snakes, but that idea became a frightening reality for one mother from Alabama in 2019. Michelle Bentley and her daughter were cooking up some canned beans and potatoes when an unusual chunk floated to the surface. At first, Michelle thought the chunk was a burnt bean until she lifted the spoon and saw what it really was, the tiny severed head of a snake. During the harvest or possibly during the chopping process in the factory, a snake had clearly had the misfortune of being diced up alongside the beans, which of course raised the question, where was the rest of it? That question was never answered, though Glory Foods, the company responsible, did promise to investigate. But Michelle wasn't the only one to make a discovery of this kind. A woman in Utah found another snakehead in her green beans in 2016. She just purchased 30 cans of her everyday Western family variety, but after her discovery, she refunded them all, having been put off for life. Anti-aging McDonald's. In 2009, Hyotor Samarasan purchased a McDonald's meal, but rather than eat his food, Hyotor set out to test the urban legend that McDonald's doesn't age. So on the last day before the closure of his local McDonald's in Iceland, he purchased a cheeseburger and fries and stored them in a plastic container. Then the waiting game began. Disturbingly, despite growing a little paler, the food remained largely unchanged in appearance a whole 10 years later. 
The reason for this unusual longevity is that McDonald's food tends to dry out quickly, creating an environment that isn't particularly hospitable to microbes. Mickey D's also use a special food additive called L-cysteine to give their products an extra long shelf life. Disturbingly, the cysteine that's used for food additives is often sourced from human hair, as well as duck feathers, cow horns, and pig hair. The human hair is mostly gathered from barbershops in China before being processed to extract the cysteine. Tasty, right? Peanut Butter Horror Many people like their peanut butter to be a little chunky, but those chunks aren't usually expected to be insects. Despite this, the American Food and Drink Administration states that it's legal to sell peanut butter containing 30 or more insect fragments per 100 grams. While those fragments are an unavoidable, harmless part of the harvesting process, it's not just bugs that you may come across in your peanut butter. The Food and Drink Administration also claims that it's acceptable for one rodent hair to be found per 100 grams of peanut butter. This is because rat hair is defined as a natural contaminant to be expected in peanut butter, as peanuts often grow in areas where rats are commonplace. Chances are your PB&J sandwich is just fine, but be sure to check how crunchy it is next time. Meaty Microchip If you happen to be eating meat and come across a small pill-shaped object like this, you might think someone's trying to lace your food. But while it's not exactly a pleasant thing to encounter, no one's trying to kill you. This is actually a microchip used on farm animals that appears to have made it through the raising, butchering, and packaging processes onto the plate of one unfortunate Reddit user. A tiny microtransceiver is sealed within the glass capsule, which is typically implanted in livestock, enabling farmers to identify specific animals. While there is significant potential danger in accidentally swallowing something like this, there is also a bright side if you ever find one. That bright side being that the company responsible will likely shower you with free stuff to avoid a lawsuit. You'd just better hope that there are no more microchips in the free stuff. Speaking of free stuff, if you're interested in receiving free daily content covering a huge range of fascinating facts and stories, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out, and studies carried out by me just now show it'll decrease your chances of finding something gross in your food by 99%. It's a no-brainer. Stinging Bananas In 2014, a British woman received a scary surprise in a bunch of supermarket bananas. Amongst the fruit was a live juvenile black-edged scorpion, which was picked and packaged along with the bananas during the harvesting. Somehow, the scorpion had survived the 5,000-mile trip from Costa Rica all the way to the UK. While this scorpion sting isn't deadly to humans, it can still cause an awful lot of pain and may even result in a visit to the hospital. With that in mind, it was a stroke of luck that it was found before making its way into a customer's fruit bowl. After the initial fright, the startled shop assistant who found the creature and her colleagues rehomed the lost traveler at a local zoo. While the little guy was a long way from home, at least he'd have free food and shelter for the rest of his life. Hopefully no bananas, though. Glove on Toast Not every disgusting thing people find in food is an animal. In 2008, a woman from Northern Ireland opened up a loaf of bread to find this inside. While it may look like the loaf is trying to get away with wearing a wig, that's not exactly the case. Those hairy fibers are actually fragments of an oven glove and her loaf of hovis bread. That's certainly a unique topping for your toast. It turned out the baker responsible had accidentally left their oven glove in the oven alongside the loaf and failed to notice the two had fused together before packaging it. Following the customer making a complaint, the company responsible were fined 750 pounds for breaking environmental health laws. While they stressed that this was just an isolated incident, I'll be taking extra care when biting into my sandwiches from now on. Fishy Parasite As retired school principal Paul Pauly was about to tuck into his sea bass at a restaurant, he spotted something truly vomit-inducing. Just in time to avoid putting it in his mouth, Paul spied a one-inch-long yellow crustacean chilling inside his meal. As it turned out, this was a parasite, and its appearance put Paul off fish for life. These crustaceans are usually discovered and removed by fishmongers when they fillet the fish, but Paul had specifically asked for a non-filleted fish, which explains his unwanted side dish. If that sounds bad, wait until you hear how they live. The parasite, or tongue-eating louse, enter a fish through its gills. It then severs the fish's tongue before attaching itself to the remaining stub and eating a share of all the food that enters the fish's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I just threw up in my mouth a little too. Thankfully, eating these parasites won't cause a human much harm, though a live one can bite back. 
Baked Mouse Baked beans are an absolute staple food in the UK, but not everyone's a big baked beans fan. Case in point, the Londoner who pulled what he thought was a piece of string from his tin of beans. He was horrified to find it was actually a tail attached to a dead mouse, saturated in tomato sauce. After hearing the news, the local council fined the manufacturers of the beans 8,000 pounds, and the supermarket responsible quickly removed 12,000 other tins of the same batch from its shelves. Tests on the mouse revealed that its stomach was full of bean starch, so at least it had one last meal. Chocolate bar with a bite. When Texas woman Sue Calhoun bit down on her Milky Way bar, she noticed something hard within the chocolate. At first, Sue thought it was just a peanut, which would have already been pretty bad considering Milky Ways are supposed to be nut free. However, Sue quickly found out it was something much worse. She spat the item out of her mouth and looked down to discover that it was, in fact, a stranger's tooth, complete with a silver filling. Sue contacted a representative from the Mars Company who produced Milky Way bars and was offered candy bar coupons and an apology letter. If you ask me, that's not nearly enough of an explanation, and unsurprisingly, she wasn't too keen to satisfy her sweet tooth again anytime soon. The Curry Creature it's customary to enjoy a curry with naan bread or papa dumps, but Jason Dams from the UK got a side dish of a different kind in the chicken tikka marsala he bought from his local Tesco supermarket. As he was about to tuck in, a three inch long wiggly creature emerged, moving at an alarming speed from underneath the pile of rice. Mr. Dams quickly put the meal back into its original packaging and took it straight round to the supermarket. Tesco took the creature in for testing and later identified the bug as a large caterpillar, providing Jason with some vouchers for the disturbing experience. But the most disturbing part of all was that the caterpillar had crawled out of Jason's meal after five minutes in the microwave. With strength like that, thank God the curry creature wasn't able to escape the plate to terrorize the nation. Roast Bile You've heard of green eggs and ham, but what about green chicken? Englishman Adrian King was tucking into some roast chicken when he noticed a disturbing green hue to parts of the meat. He immediately returned the chicken to the supermarket and analysis found that the green color of the meat was caused by the bird's gallbladder, which wasn't properly removed. As the gallbladder stores bile, when it was cooked, it ruptured, tainting the surrounding meat with the green bile inside. Delicious, right? The supermarket eventually sent the unfortunate customer a 15 pound voucher but Adrian, understandably, declined the insufficient offer out of disgust for their customer service and the quality of their product. After that story, I can feel some bile of my own rising up. Grapes of Terror In 2018, a North Carolina woman made a discovery that makes a bit of green bile seem like a pleasant gift by comparison. Two black widow spiders were found hiding amongst the grapes she'd purchased from Hy-Vee Supermarket. The store claimed that the declining use of pesticides in fruit and vegetable fields was to blame for the spiders ending up in the bunch of grapes. They carried out checks on their other stock, but while this woman was unharmed, not everyone may be so lucky. The venom in Black Widow spider bites contains latrotoxin, which causes severe muscle cramps and spasms, and the agonizing symptoms can last for several weeks. And with 700 to 800 people in the US every year finding these spiders in their grapes, you better keep your eyes peeled. Chicken Surprise While no one's pretending what goes into McDonald's chicken products is the best quality, what one woman found in hers will shock even Ronald's biggest haters. Catherine Ortega from Virginia was plating up some McDonald's chicken wings when she pulled out one wing with a decidedly odd shape. But it turned out the wing was actually a deep fried chicken's head with the beak and eyes visible underneath the batter. While McDonald's chickens are usually beheaded early in the process, it seemed this anomaly somehow slipped through quality control head first. McDonald's offered Catherine a refund or another box free of charge, but she declined the offer, claiming that she had lost her appetite. I'm not surprised. Frozen Amphibian While you might order frog's legs at a French restaurant, the last place you'd expect to find them is in a bag of frozen vegetables. But that's precisely where a frozen frog appeared for one Michigan family in 2010. Seeing as the frog wasn't chopped up like the rest of the frozen food in the bag, it must have found its way in during the packaging process. This raised some serious concerns about the manufacturer's factory hygiene, as frogs are the last thing you want hopping around your conveyor belts. After the couple got in touch with the Food and Drink Administration, the Meyer supermarket chain responsible pulled the product from all of its stores in the area. 
As a gesture of goodwill, Meyer offered the Hoffmans a voucher for two more bags of frozen vegetables. Hopefully frog-free this time. Despite their disgusting discovery, the couple said they'll still shop with Meyer. Now that's customer loyalty. Sickening Capri Sun Capri Sun drinks are a staple of children's pack launches, which is somewhat surprising considering the brand has a serious mold problem. In 2018, one of many unlucky customers, Cameron Hardwick from Indiana, poured a Capri Sun into a glass, but all that ended up coming out was a clump of gray mass. A tiny puncture hole was found in the packaging, which had allowed oxygen inside the container. As the drink contains no preservatives, the oxygen allowed mold spores inside the pouch to develop, forming a sickening globule. But this was far from the only instance of something like this occurring. These revolting discoveries are so alarmingly common that in 2013, the Indiana State University conducted a study to see what else could be found in the Capri Sun. The study found that five types of fungi commonly grow in Capri Sun pouches. Since then, Kraft, the manufacturers of Capri Sun, have assured customers that the fungi are not harmful to humans. But it's unlikely customers will be comforted by this fact as they continue to make disturbing discoveries of this kind. Frog-flavored Pepsi When Fred Denigri of Ormond Beach, Florida took a couple sips of his Pepsi, he immediately knew something was wrong. The smell was repulsive and the texture was thick and slimy. He emptied the contents of the drink into the sink and something resembling pink linguine slopped out. But even so, the can still seemed heavy, so Fred called the Food and Drug Administration to get to the bottom of the issue. The Pepsi can was taken in for testing, and it was revealed that the heavy object inside was a dead frog in the advanced stages of decomposition. Despite investigations at the local bottling plant, no one was able to identify how the unlucky amphibian had ended up in the can. But for the sake of the Pepsi drinkers of the world, maybe that's for the best. That being said, seeing what a couple months suspended in Pepsi did to that frog, I'm certainly having second thoughts about sipping the beverage anytime soon. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. Crunchy Crab Surprise When you find a foreign object in your food, it's usually bad news. But there are occasions when you make a discovery that's more fascinating than repulsive, even if it is a little unpleasant initially. That's what happened to this Reddit user who found a pearl inside of an Alaskan king crab leg. While the Redditor was lucky not to break their teeth, they soon realized they stumbled across something very rare. These pearls form when debris gets stuck under the shell of the crab. Over time, calcium grows around the debris, eventually forming a small pearl. While crab pearls can't match the cash you'd get from clam pearls, you can still receive upwards of $200 for a prime specimen. That would have more than paid back the Redditor's dinner. So next time you're enjoying some crab, don't bite too hard. You might discover a pearl and lose a tooth in the process. What's the grossest thing you've ever found in your food or drink? Let me know in the comments section below and thanks for watching.